Hi, I'm Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get data from your InTouch application into Insight. So first of all, you can see here is that I've got the InTouch demo application spun up. And we're going to be going over a connection that looks a little something like this. So from InTouch through the publisher, up through any firewall, any web proxy that you might have on, on your site, and up into Insight. So the process to do this is quite easy. So in InTouch 2017 update three and above, the Insight Publisher is actually built in. If you're on a lower version, I believe it goes back to 2012, you can download the standalone publisher. Uh, so what you can do is once you've installed that, it'll be here under Aviva, it'll be Insight Publisher. You can see yeah, I've already uh, got this set up, but if I hit a new configuration, this will be the screen that you come across. You can see here, create a new Insight data source from an existing InTouch application. Just closing this app down very quickly, you'll be able to see that you can also uh, have uh, view this and access the publisher through the application manager. So I just close down Window Maker and launch application manager. You can see this little button here, publish tag data as of either Insight data source. I click that, you can see that it brings up the exact same thing. So the process to do it is you hit publish and it will go and check if the firewall allows access to the list of endpoints that are described in the Insight documentation. Then it will ask you what region uh, your solution is currently hosted in. It'll ask you to sign in with uh, your Aviva Connect account, which I'm just gonna do right now. Once that's in, you'll be shown an application path. You can change this. So if you've got multiple applications running on a machine, you want to uh, publish one particular application, you can change that. You can select whether you want to include alarms and events as well. Then I hit continue. You want to give the data source a name. So you can see here, I've, I've already got one published in such test. I'm going to stop this just short, but I'll just show you the process of how to do it. So let's say for example, we were calling this in touch. You define a location that you want this data to come through for, and then hit next. And then you define some geolocation coordinates. If you want to, if you use, want to use things like map views and things like that, you can provide these coordinates here, or you can provide them when the data is already in Insight. And then you'll just hit this publish and your data will be there. So as I mentioned, my data is already up there. So I'm just gonna hit back and then close off this. And then I'm gonna launch this InTouch application. I'm just using the demo InTouch application. I'm gonna launch it and then I'm gonna launch it into runtime just to start that data coming through. And then we'll switch over to my Insight solution. Importantly, you've gotta make sure that the tags that you want to uh, appear in Insight have log data uh, enabled for them. And if they're, they're strings, you also want log events as well. Yep, I'm gonna hit runtime now, launch this into runtime, get the demo data flowing through, and then we'll switch over to the Insight solution where you should be able to see that data starts coming through very shortly. So here's my Insight solution. And if I go into administration and data sources, you can see that the InTouch test data source was last updated three minutes ago. That will update roughly every five minutes for the purposes of this demo. So if I head back to home and select one of my tags. So as you saw from my list before, I've got a set of tags that uh, begin with analog. If I choose analog at one and set this to a line chart, I can see a trend for the data that was appearing in my InTouch application just as simple as that. You can even see the little break where we shut down the application and restarted it. So you can see that data is now coming through. And that's how easy it is to get data from an InSearch application up into the cloud for the various different features that Insight enables as a content platform. If you have any questions about any of the processes or how to get data up into Insight, please do feel free to give us a call or send us an email and we'll be happy to help out.